Follow all Moesu news on his website, www.mosu.com, on his Facebook and Instagram page too, for daily exclusive publications. Hello and welcome on Moesu for this new video about the Yamaha CK with the CK61 with the synth action you have front of me, and you have also the CK88 with the piano keyboard. Action! And today we are going to talk not only about the CK, but also what Camelot Pro can bring you when you play at home or on stage with your Yamaha CK. That's why we are going quickly to the overview. But if you do not know me, my name is Joel Borg. You can also suit me on my Facebook. It's called Moesio, the Instagram Moesio13. And also on the website, www.moisieu.com. And if you are not a Moisieu YouTube follower, click on subscribe and click on the bell to be informed when I release a new video. Let's jump to Camelot Pro. And we have this nice view. I will not explain all the things that I have already explained in present in Camelot Pro. We are focusing on what Camelot Pro can add, improve your CK using here and like a Short explanation, we are here on the Camelot Pro view. And we are here, we have the set list. The set list is the song management you have for your stage, as an example. And here, this is the after work, my band song list, I would say. And if the singer decides at, at the last moment to change the order, you do not need to go on the live set. I need to change or to swap. You have the live set manager here. You have the live set editor for the Jambalas, but here on camera, it's very quick and easy. Like that. Ta-da! Up, I have changed. Now, finally, I want to play Vertigo. Okay, you want to play Vertigo on first? We play Vertigo on first. Okay. Easy like that. And you can do this on Mac, on PC, or on iOS on stage. I am with the iPad Pro M1 from 2021, and it's worked very, very, very fine. So here, this is this view with the songs and the set list that contain the songs. You have some scene, I will go on the second part, timeline or so. So the layer. The first thing you need to understand on your CK, and it's very, very important, you need to have the local control off. And you also need, when you go to the settings, to go in general, enter, to go to MIDI, and to be sure, because we work on USB, that the USB port is set to on, and here, that the local control is set to off. Why we need to set the local control to off? Because here, my CK MIDI out from the USB port. Come here. You see the little blinking here. That's the MIDI out from the USB coming into the CK engine and coming back through the MIDI in from the USB coming back to the CK. So if you let local control on, you will have uh, duplicate sounds with some delays, if there is a large latency and low latency, you have a chorusing sounds so not so great. And being local control off, have a lot, lot of great things you can do because you can also transpose directly, directly with Camelot, you can transpose here. Only the MIDI, you do not transpose audio because you can play audio files with Camelot. This is not a DAW, you cannot record audio, you cannot play and record MIDI files. Only audio files can be played in MP3 or WAV file. But here with the transfers, you transfer the MIDI, not the audio, okay? And you can select your CK songs like you want, like that. And very great, you can receive all the CK songs. So you create a live set and you see the name, ta -ta 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 go on. And it's already mapped. That's what we call the smart map. All is already inside. And you can recall the live set you have created. Of course, you manage the level here with the velocity. In direct way with Camelot. So very, very great. I will show you this. Because remember, the CK is mono MIDI channel. So you cannot manage the split inside Camelot Pro from the CK because the three parts are on the same MIDI channel. You can do this with the modics or the montage because each part is on a separate MIDI channel. 
And that's very, very great for the control change because here for the CK, you need to have dedicated control change for part A, some over for part B, some over for part C because we are on the same MIDI channel. On montage and modix, we have all fixed in MIDI channel from 1 to 16 and resave. That means that we can use the same control change number for all the parts we have. And that's very important to work like this. We've separate the MIDI channel. Always separate. You will have a better work workflow like that. So here you cannot use this to make the split. Inside Camelot, you made the split and you see it's easy inside the CK. And you can have some attachment view like that. Here, this is a song with the words I have rewrite. So I hope there is no problem with the copyright like this. Okay. And so you can select the sound, manage the sound. You can add some other items with some other sounds from other keyboards or this instrument. We will see this after. And uh, you can have the attachment and you can have also audio files because there is no drums in the CK. CK are stage keyboard. They are because 61 and 88. And there is no drums in the Yamaha stage keyboard. There is no drums in CP or in YC. That's why perhaps you need to have in the timeline some drums, audio file, MP3 here or web file as you want. MP3 with high quality, of course. And I will show you some things after. And we have something that you do not have on the CK uh, on the base, like we have on Montage or Modix. We have some scenes in camera. That means I can call, if I play with a drummer and bassman, I can play some chords and change the sound. You see a little change due to the effect change because I pass from my electric piano to my S700. And here I have a VST sound too. You see, I have the two and you do not hear. There is no sound cutting. You hear, oh, it's work very, very fine like that. So there is no scene in the CK. If you work only with the CK, you manage with several live sets in Camelot with only one song management and the scene. You can manage all of this sound change with the SSS, the seamless sound switching. So very great to have this. Let's go to the timeline. And on timeline, I have a drum. If you work with backing track, you can automate the sound changing. So here, my scene with the electric piano is here. My scene with the chorus piano, acoustic piano is here. And I'm going to launch the playing. And automatically the sound change. Without cutting, I do not need to do anything else. I just focusing and take pleasure with my friends for my band. And ta-da, all is done by camera. So very, very great management in the timeline to add backing tracks. You can add others backing tracks, of course. Not only one or on the, with the band. We have one for the bass, one for the drums, one for the percussion, one for other FX, additional guitar, because sometimes the song needs really two, three guitars, and I have one guitarist. So it cannot done all the things. So sometimes we add some things like that. And sometimes I play the piano and we add uh, some uh, brass. Why not? And we work very great and fine like this. And here I say on this scene for the ID. And you have some great, great other things you can down. But if you want to go deeper inside using Camelot Pro with your CK, you can ask me for a Moisture Masterclass. You have all the information on video description and on video endings. So see you all along the video and keep and stay here now for the bonus that come because I will learn to you all to do not use too much live set plays for some simple things you want to change in your live set. Stay with me and you will see also the virtual instrument. Management, that's the bonus time. And for this bonus, so I changed my second layer where I have my CK uh, acoustic piano. And I have also this nice VST. It's a free VST from a Kawai synth here, the key one V. So I can change instrument. Uh, here I have the A. I can go to the string pads like that. 
I can have a flute pan. So you see, very easy, very flexible. Here I have the sound management here inside Camelot, so I can change like that in easy way because this VST allow the sound management. Here, so very, very easy to add some VST instrument. Uh, just one advice, very important. Camelot work on PC and Mac and it work on iOS and it's a cross platform, but except for the VST, because if you work on Windows like me, with some VST instrument, you do not have VST instrument inside the iPad. It's all free, so you need to take care of management of that. So that's why for me on stage, I work only with hardware here, but you can manage with There is a lot, lot of great all free on the iPad that can be placed what you prepare on your computer. Okay, so this was for the VST instrument. I will not go so far and too much on this. And you have some great example on Onyo Meling website with the Swarm instrument, very great Swarm instrument that you can see inside Camelot or outside Camelot, a standalone too. And the things that we done also with key control for the breath controller online, see my video about this. But take the case, I will uh, mute this one. Like this, we have only the piano. Here I have a huge river. And say, okay, for example, I need to create a live set with a huge, huge reverb like that. And for one of the songs, I want to use the S700, but with less reverb. So if I work only with the CK, I need to use the reverb and store a new live set. And if I want to add a delay and change the things, I need to store a new live set, etc. etc. For the organs drawbar, if I want just to change from one preset selection, a little bit the position of the draw bars, you need to store a new live set. So you will take a lot of place in the live set. With Camelot, you can do a lot of things without needed to store this. You store that in Camelot. So we use what we call the double arrow here. It's called the expand icon. And here on the expand icon, you see I have already done some things for the English video. I will remove that. Okay, so I do not need the CK here. So I have the volume here, but here I have the part A volume here. I can manage my volume directly. And you hear, you hear the reverb. And for the reverb, it's here. I can reduce my reverb. I can manage the delay def too if I have a delay activate. I can manage the EQ if I want. Each part, A, B, C. In that example, I do not have a B and C part and say, okay, you have this, but I do not care of the B and C volume. No problem. You click, you activate, you choose the control change you need. They are all pre mapped inside Camelot. So, if you want the filter resonance inside the part A, you can have it like that and you change this and you manage the filter resonance uh, here for the piano. This is not great, but not sure we, we have a lot of things with that, with the piano, but for the synth pad, we'll have some great things. So you can manage a lot of things in only save inside Camelot. So you do not need for this basic change, so changing the level, the volume, the reverb sound, uh, changing a little bit the drawbar position on the CK. I will re add my CK, changing the drawbar position from a preset organ. You have basically, you just want to change a little bit from the preset and say, I need to store a live set. No, you do it in Camelot. Camelot, call the live set and say, send to the live set. Use this volume, use this sending for the this control change, etc., etc. And all, all, all is done by Camelot. So we, you win a lot of time like that and you win a lot of place inside your live set management. That's the big reason with the smart map for choosing the live set and editing and the backing tracks and the scene. That's really for great reason to use Camelot Pro with your Yamaha CK. That's video ending. I hope you have liked it. I hope you are finding it interesting. If yes, please click on the blue thumb. Remember, it's very important for me for the huge work I've done to make all these videos on Moesio. If you want, if you like the video, it takes to you only two seconds, but it's important for me to know that you like the video. And for the channel, it's important to have some likes. 
And also, if you go bottom right, the video, you have the super thanks. Super thanks are like a kind of donation. It helped me to improve, as example, a Jira or renew the licenses or buy new licenses for software that help to improve the rendering on video on this channel. So thank you in advance if you go in this way. If you want to more your masterclass, you have all information on video description and on video ending. So see you soon for one of our Mauricio video. Bye. Would you like to discover, learn or improve your knowledge of your Yamaha synthesizer or stage keyboard? Book your Moeso master class now. Your private session is conducted online through Zoom. Take all benefit of Moeso expertise, Yamaha synthesizers and stage keyboard specialist for nearly 20 years and consultant for Yamaha Music Europe and France. As member of international Yamaha Tech Talk live team and host of the Camel of Pro sessions for audio modeling, Joel take care of your experience level. Whether you're a beginner or a skilled user, get the most out of your Yamaha synthesizer, stage keyboard, John Mela's software suite or Camelot Pro. Book your session from the Moesu Facebook page, use slots available in the service tab, or by email, moesu at orange.fr. This service is available in French and English, only for users who live in European Union. Camelot Pro 1 to 1 Masterclass are available for users all over the world through audio modeling platform. Thank you for watching this Moesu video. Do not forget to click on like, subscribe, and click on the bell to be informed when a new video is online. Do not hesitate to write a comment or ask a question. See you soon. Bye.